for this one. It's, um, I got challenged uh, when I was in secondary school. I had to teach a group of primary school children about the wonders of Edgar Allan Poe. And um, if anyone's actually read him, uh, it's, it's not a great read for kids. So, um, <laughs> yeah. So they put me up in front of like 200 of year sixes, and uh, this is what I said to them. And I now take you to a primary school or somewhere in Wiltshire. Somewhere in the magic patch, where all the flowers grow, lives a very silly batch of talking vegetables, I know. There was Clive Carrot, who always had a merry song to sing. Pat Potato always had the most infectious grin. Sally Squash liked dancing in the warm December breeze. And Edgar the Tomato said, life is pain. <laughs> Life's a gift for every boy and girl! Sally, high on pesticide, laughed and did a twirl. <laughs> Pat kept grinning, he was comatose. And Edgar the Tomato said, Life is pain. <laughs> and we're all going to die. <laughs> and then, something magical happened in the magic patch, as if by magic! There was a bright light! And then, the crunchy crew was bathed in a glowing incandescence, and from it came... That's right, locusts! Magic fucking locusts! <laughs> Clive wailed, Oh God, they're eating my flesh! Like a baritone, sober Sally clung to Pat so she wouldn't die alone. Pat said nothing, still comatose. <laughs> and Edgar the Tomato said, Heathens pray in Heathens' way to many gods of old, as sunlight pours repeating wings that echo in the cold. And thus my tender flesh that shall be cast upon the floor shall be lifted nevermore. Thank you. <laughs> Hopefully not mess it up. Here we go. Uh, this is called Sunday Night. It's very sexy, I promise. Uh, hey girl. It's Sunday night. I'm looking for passion, I'm looking for romance, and I call you on the telephone. And I say, baby, I need you. Baby, I want you. And then you say those words I've been waiting to hear all day. Sir, this is a hospital. <laughs> 